I think food plays a very big role in whether or not you have acid reflux. There are certain foods that actually make the lower esophageal sphincter relax, which means it's wider and it's easier for acid to come up. There are other foods that just are more acidic, and because of that, they cause more irritation to the esophagus. what's called a lower esophageal sphincter, which is a valve that really serves as a gate to keep acid down into your stomach and to prevent it from coming up into your esophagus. Now certain people are certainly more sensitive than others to certain foods, but the main categories that we find with a lot of people who suffer from acid reflux that are problematic are things like caffeinated drinks, so coffee, tea, sodas. Carbonated beverages of any kind can be problematic, very greasy or fatty foods peppermint, citrus fruits, onions, these are all things that can either produce more acid or cause a relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter, which makes it easier for acid to come up. And that's why when you eat certain foods, you may experience acid reflux symptoms. Then how you're eating can make a difference. If you're having one very large meal per day, especially if it's a fatty meal, that's gonna sit in your stomach, take a longer time to digest, and that also makes it easier for acid to come up. Having excess weight, particularly around the abdominal area, really does put pressure from the stomach on that esophageal sphincter and makes it easier for acid to come up. And I found with my patients that losing not even a huge amount of weight, even just 10 pounds, can cause them to have significant improvement in their acid reflux symptoms.